have made it to Big Diamond Speedway. We have two features, a makeup feature from last week. Um, I know we got 13th, and, and we're starting 13th in the makeup feature, racing the 14th, and we see how we, see how we do. Thirteenth in the lineup, former track champion. They're all over the place here tonight, driving the Breitenstein Motorsports number fourteen. Winner out at BAPS last Sunday, the kids' kid Billy Pouch Jr. God's country to kick off the month of May, and it's actually our makeup from April nineteenth. Racing action has begun, and it's so easy. One hundred two, Ryan Watt that leads this brigade of mighty modifies returns one and two being closely chased. Left front donut up in the air. He's within a car length of the race leader, Logan Watt. 14 of Billy Pouch Jr. is also uh, stepping off the track right now. Came in with, I think, like two laps to go. We'll see what happens. I don't know. It's not looking good. Um, we were out of the car. We're in the pits. Something happened. I'm not sure, but I'll find out. Uh, we're starting third. He won. Wait. No, he starting third. He two. Um, not sure how many qualifiers. Yeah. So we're just gonna find out. Green flag is out, and we are underway with our second ten lap qualifier. 28 of Brian Rhodes also in the field as Pouch Jr. going to work in a hurry. Pouch wheeling around the outside of Scott Albert. He'll take over second. The driver out of Auburn, Pennsylvania, Ken Ecker Jr. showing the way. Pouch Jr. not able to chase him down, at least not just yet. Three laps complete, three down, seven to go. Perego third, then a long way back. Give a call to Brian Rhodes, who's holding down fourth. I don't think that's going to work so well with his father. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a restart, Dino. Pouch Jr. going to the lead as we go back to green. Yeah, Perego falling back or up to second spot, excuse me. It was the one exit, Ken Eckert, that uh, pedaled back two positions there. And uh... Billy Jr., the winner out at BAPS last Sunday night in this Breitenstein number 14. Perego giving chase. Perego finished second to Billy Jr. at BAPS. So they run 1-2 here in qualifying activity with two to go. Long way back to third place, Ken Ecker Jr. He is keeping Ryan Watt behind him. And now Laubach, the 20, rebounding back to fifth. Big shout out to BP3, Billy's son, who won for the first time in the slingshots up at Snydersville two weeks ago. So, uh... Next generation of pouch racers uh, getting it done. Here's the checkered flag. Billy Pouch Jr. takes the victory. Second place to the four star of Anthony Perego. The uh, third in our heat, so it was pretty good. Um, well, we started up in third. Past two guys had a caution. We were in second. Then we went to we went to the outside, got first. And we went from where here I am. Uh, we went from third to the lead in the heat race. Uh, we're pretty good tonight. We'll see what we got in the second feature. Uh, keep up the good work, Billy. Uh, we're starting thick in the future. Going on the bottom. Not so good, but we'll see how we do. 
57 of Jeff Strunk, and alongside him, the 14 of Billy Pouch Jr. Ready to go for the second time tonight. Green flag is out, and Mike Burrows takes charge early on here. He'll do head down that back straightaway. Feature here at Big Diamond. As we get back underway here, the field side by side by side. Coming down that front straightaway, flashing under the green flag of Warren Alston. And it's going to be Mike Burrows dashing ahead in the early going here. And you've got Billy Pouch Jr. lap number one to the 55. Burrows showing the way strong, trying to work his way under record. Heavy company, if you will. Uh, he's got the strunk right alongside him. A nice start by Burrows. Once again, leading the pack. Strunk trying to get a good run off those corners there, but Burroughs is the man that's going to show the way. Dwayne Howard carving through the field at the moment. Howard now breaking into the top five. Ian Cressley going to bang rub rails in corner number four. Month of May, this is race number one in that battle for the month of money. And here we go. Pouch Jr. now third, took a look under Strunk, couldn't make it happen. Strunk doing a little tap dance on the rear bumper of the leader. Now he'll tuck down to the bottom, entering turn three. Burroughs giving him room, but Mike Burroughs really good tonight. Strunk will pull even. The battle raging for the lead in one and two. Inside line for Strunk, and man, they were neck and neck through the first two corners. How about Mike Burroughs outdoing the multi-time champion Jeff Strunk, and he holds on to the race lead. Howard, and then Mike Goulart right behind, so he's in some heavy company, but doing a nice job. We are underway. Oh, look at that hot action going through the first two corners. Gaggle of cars all close together. Pouch Jr. has taken over third. Meanwhile, Strunk, couple of car length advantage over Cressley. Ten laps remaining. Pouch Jr., third, battling with the 15G. There it is. Eye on the prize. Checkered flag. Jeff Strunk wins for the first time this year. Brett Cressley, the defending champion, will finish a strong second. Mike Goulart takes third spot. Billy Pouch Jr. comes home fourth, and Loudon Reimer gets his second top five. We got this in the future. Uh, we did pretty good. We started six, so got one. They're pretty good. I'll go home. Um, we started six. We got up to third there at one point. Thought I was going to get Jeff and uh, just kind of got Fox in there running third. And then, of course, Wooler was better than me. We just, uh, it's been drier than it's been here and we just didn't adjust enough, right? So uh, we'll take it. Uh, the boys are cold. They're tired. It's 11 o'clock at night. And uh, thank you for paying along.